All right, for this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update your Google Sites in the new Google Sites for the first time. So you'll see that I have the different pages for the different courses. Please make sure that you're in the page for the course. Okay, this is my home page right now, um, which your home page should have your name here and here. Um, later on, we will do more things with the home page, but for now, that's blank for everyone. So if you're in Art 1, please click your Art 1 page. If this is Art 2, click your Art 2 page etc. Okay, so I'm going to show you just within my Art3 page because I have nothing here yet. The first thing you need to do when you're on your page for your course is double click this white area underneath your header. So you can see this dotted line here that's right underneath where it says Art3H or wherever you have Art1, Art2, etc. For AP, you'll make sure that you're uploading to the breadth section um, or if you have works for consideration, things like that. So in this area, double click you get this nice little control wheel that pops up. The first thing you want to enter is text. And with that text, it defaults to normal text style. When you click that, there will be a drop down menu that says um, headings. Please make sure you select headings. And in this alignment button, when you click that, please make sure it's center aligned. So when I look in the other pages that I've done, I can show you, it should look like this. It should be blue um, or to match your theme. It should be um, more, more bold and bigger. So when I type into this one, what I want everyone to type is, this is my pretest for the 2017-2018 school year. Now, if you don't change it, it looks like normal text and left aligned. It should be center aligned and heading text. Okay, um, So make sure that you select that. Once that's done, the next part you're going to click is in here, this next section below double click and you're going to add image. This is where you're going to upload the image of your pretest. So wherever you saved your pretest image, um, find that, okay? I saved a blank pretest that I'm going to upload for you, but you're going to make sure that you're uploading your pretest that I shared with you in the folder. If you have not yet taken a pretest, um, please let me know and I will get one for you. Um, if you don't see your pretest in there and you know you took it, please let me know. I'll make sure it's uploaded. All right, so when you click pretest, it will come up like this. And what you need to do from here is click and drag this corner kind of down and to the right. So you're holding the mouse button and clicking to the right. And some of you may have already done this and you kind of said, oh, look, it's cropping my photo. It's, it's not showing all of my pretest. Well, you also need to kind of drag down. And as you drag down a little bit more, it shows more of it. So it's still cutting off the top and bottom of my image. So I need to scroll down a little bit, hover over the picture. Um, when I click it, these little dots come up and I need to click and hold while dragging down. And you can see it's now filling that space with the rest of my picture. If I drag down too far, looking on the left and right sides of the picture, it starts to crop it on the sides. So make sure that you're stopping where you can see your whole image of your pretest, where you see your name and the date, all six boxes and the little descriptions around those. Okay, so underneath your pretest, you're going to double click in that white space again, selecting text, going from normal text to headings, and alignment will be centered. And this is where you'll put your folder for this year. So this is the folder with all of my images for the 2017-2018 school year. Okay. Um, when you click outside of that box, it saves that change. So once again, yours, when you're finished doing the correct settings, um, will have it be centered and larger like this example here. So this is a folder with all of my images for the 2017-2018 school year. Please make sure you're doing that. Um, the software I'm using for recording this video isn't quite compatible with the editing for Google Sites. So for some reason, when I click those buttons, it doesn't show you what you would have when you click those buttons. Next, in the page, in the section below, the white area underneath, double click. Um, hopefully by now you're kind of getting the idea of double clicking for this little control wheel. It makes it really easy. Um, you're going to click from drive. And here is where you're actually going to link that folder that you created for your class. So make sure that you are organized within your Google Drive and you know exactly where you put that folder. So when you find it, you're going to click it once it will highlight blue and at the bottom it will say one item and insert. Please click insert. And when you put it in there, if you have nothing in your folder, it's just going to show up as a white square. 
Um, please make sure any pictures that we've taken, whether it's your sketches, your pretest, or your artworks, it all needs to go in this folder for the class for the year. When this box pops up for your folder, if you have pictures in it, it will show a list of the items um, with a little red picture icon. We need to go to the settings icon here, leave your folder name, but where it says view type, instead of list view, we need grid view. And when you click done, if you have pictures here, it will show you the actual icons of your images so you'll be able to see very clearly what it is you have. Um, from that, simply click and drag this blue dot on the right all the way over. Um, that just makes sure that it's spreading across that section of your website. Okay. Um, underneath your folder, we're going to double click, click text. You all have project number one. And if you're in art one, it's one point perspective. Okay. Um, if you are in art two, then it's going to be two point perspective. And if you're in art three, it's going to be a three point perspective. So whichever project you have, um, you're going to put in here. For AP, you'll simply put um, project number one because you have the sections already laid out. I'll know it's breadth section number one, et cetera. All right, so once again, for this, you'll need to have it as headings and alignment as centered. So if you look in my example pages here, um, we have project one, one point perspective for art one. and project one, two point perspective for art two. So make sure that you're making those headings nice and big um, using the headings versus the normal text for those. Okay, now underneath this, if we've already taken a picture of your artwork and you've already saved it to your art one folder, um, go ahead and double click and go to images. Okay, and then it, you can search it in your drive, finding that picture, okay. Um, for now, I'm just going to put in a random picture that I find. Um, okay, so you'll select your picture. I don't have an example one. I'll actually put in a, a two-point perspective. We'll do it that way. So um, finding your project, okay, um, putting that in there. So this would be from, if I was in Art 3, this three-point perspective um, for an Art 3 folder. Um, Art two would have two point perspective putting your project in there, art one having your art one project. So then um, just like you did for your pretest, clicking and dragging this bottom corner all the way over and making sure it's going down enough where it doesn't crop these sides of your image. So trying to just make it as large as you can without any awkward cropping. And in your checklist, that's one thing I mentioned was that it needs to be as large as possible to see it, but not have the awkward cropping of your image. So we wanna see your whole image um, in there and if you've got any sort of background um, where we took the picture underneath of it, um, you'll need to crop that in your Chromebook, which will be a separate video for you later on. Um, or you can simply ask me or a classmate for help with cropping your photos before uploading it in here. Finally, underneath your photo for your project, you'll double click the white area underneath, click text, and this is where you type the required response according to Google Classroom. So please check your checklists that are posted in Google Classroom for each course. Type your response in there. Please cover all of your bullet points. And even if you're not finished, there's actually a question that asks you, if you're not finished, what do you need to do to finish? Um, because they need to give you a grade for the progress you've made so far. Um, otherwise, it's zero until you update this information. Okay, that is the end of the tutorial for updating your Google site for the first project, setting up your folder for the year, and having your pretest in there. So feel free to replay this video as many times as you need. And if you still need help, please ask me or a classmate. Thank you.